Hey guys, it's Amanda Panda and welcome to another custom My Little Pony tutorial. And today I am going to be creating a pony inspired by Foxy from Five Nights at Freddy's. To make this custom, I am going to be using this articulated figurine of Miss Pommel. So let's get it open. And if you're wondering, I got this figurine from Amazon.com. I'll put a link in the description, but you can probably find it at Walmart or Target. I love this figurine because it's fully articulated. I can move the legs and the knees, super cute, just like one of the animatronics from Freddy's. She comes with this little saddle bag, which would be really good if you're gonna make a Mod Pie custom. I'm using a little bit of acetone to remove her cutie mark. Time to remove her hair. I'm going to take off her head by twisting it firmly to the side until it pops out like that. To remove the hair that's on her head, you need to remove the neck plug from the inside. Sometimes it'll come out with pliers or tweezers if you pull on it, but this one's glued in there really good and it's not budging. So I'm gonna grab my X-Acto knife and very carefully make a series of little tiny cuts all around that neck plug until I can just pull it right out like this and I suggest putting the neck plugs back together so you don't lose them so there's that now I'm gonna take some large scissors and cut off as much of Coco's hair as I possibly possibly can then I'm going to switch to some teeny tiny little nail scissors and cut off her hair all the way down to the scalp. And the roots of the hair are anchored to the inside of the head with a lot of glue. So use some pliers or tweezers to reach in there and scrape and pull out all those chunks of glue and hair until the head is completely bald and ready for customization. Time to remove the tail. I'm going to be rerouting the tail using a different method than normal. I usually reroute from the inside out but for this one, I'm going to have to do it from the outside in because the neck plug does not come out. So I'm just cutting off the tail and pushing the rest inside of the body. Foxy has a hook arm, so I want my pony to have a hook arm too. I'm removing the bottom half of the front leg and I pulled it out with my pliers and it was actually really hard to do that. So get some help from somebody that's super strong and it looks just like that. I'm just gonna toss that bottom half of the leg away because I don't need it anymore. I'm keeping the shape of the eye but using acetone to remove all the color from the inside. For the body, I'm going to use this light brown acrylic paint that I found at Walmart. It is a really nice terracotta red brown color, which I thought was a good match to Foxy. And I'm going to completely cover the head and the body with this paint. I don't really like using acrylic paint because it's going to take probably four coats to get an even color, but I couldn't find a nail polish that I thought was the right color match. I made the Chica custom a couple of months ago and I've really been wanting to do another Five Nights at Freddy's custom, so I'm really excited to see how this one comes out.
here's the body with four coats of acrylic paint and four coats did give me really good coverage. I'm gonna grab the pony head and just temporarily place it back on the body because I am going to work on the light colored fur that Foxy has in the center of her body. I've taken that same light brown acrylic paint and added a little bit of white to make this a lighter shade here. And I'm going to paint a stripe from the top of the nose all the way under the belly. I want to soften up the sharp line between the two colors so I have a small piece of sponge here and I'm just going to dab along the edges with a little bit of that light colored paint and you can see where I am just creating a slight gradient effect time to get the face on I'm using a little bit of black acrylic paint to give Foxy her little button nose. And a toothpick to dot on the little specks of whiskers. For the eyes, I'm taking some white acrylic paint and completely filling in the entire eye. And I'm gonna go over this with two coats of paint to get a solid opaque coverage. Now I've taken that light brown shade I used for the body, added a little bit of black to make a darker shade, and I'm going to give Foxy some eyelids because I want Foxy to have those like half open animatronic looking eyes some bright green yellow for the eyes for the general shape of the eyes now i'm going in with some solid yellow for a little ombre effect there and a little bit of orange and i'm going to put just a dot of black down towards the bottom of the eye And then give Foxy one large light reflection right in the middle. And these are the eyes that Foxy has in the video game. There we go. And I think that they look super cool. I'm just going to use my really fine paintbrush and fully outline the entire eye. And the eyes are all done. I think they came out really nice. Now I'm going to paint in the ears using a, a little bit of the light colored acrylic paint. And I am leaving the insides um, with a little pointed shape. And I'm going to seal all of my work with some varnish. Once it's dried, it's time for hair. I've decided to give Foxy dark chocolate brown hair, and this is Chocolate Fudge from DollyHair.com. I'm going to be rehairing with my little tool here, which is basically a pronged needle. I've cut the hair into one quarter length strands, wrap it around my fingers, and catch all that hair at the end of the needle. And since it's sharp, you just decide what hole you want to pick, put the plug in, push it in, and just like that, the first hair plug is in. And you're just going to repeat that process over and over and over again until Foxy has a completely new head of hair. Hair. Now, I completely rerouted this head with the dark brown and I liked it, but I think it might have looked better with a lighter shade with maybe a hint of red or orange to it. So, if you're gonna create this custom, maybe you want to pick out a different color hair. But the dark brown looks nice too.
Once all the hair plugs are in, they need to be secured from the inside of the head. I like using a little bit of fabric glue. I squirt it directly inside of the head and then use a Q-tip to evenly distribute that glue throughout the hair. And I'm gonna put that to the side, let it dry and work on Foxy's body. I'm using a little bit of black nail polish, not acrylic paint, but nail polish here. And just a little tiny bit of it on a dry paintbrush. And I am really pressing that into the joint areas to give Foxy a really beat up, worn in look. And I prefer to use nail polish for this because it's not as strong and overpowering as acrylic paint can be. Now that the distress is in, I'm taking this dark chocolate brown acrylic paint and I'm going to give Foxy some little shorts. And I'm going to do three, maybe four coats of this brown color to make sure that I get even coverage. In the game, Foxy does have some metal areas exposed around his joint. So I'm using this silver nail polish from OPI and I'm going to use a very fine nail art brush to just paint in one silver line in the joint area to make it look like a machine. I've taken some nail striping tape and mapped out the area for Foxy's metal hand and a little bit of a metal around the neck. And I'm just going to paint those areas in with that same silver nail polish from OPI. I'll put the name down in the description box below. Once all the paint has completely dried, I'm going to go over the entire body with a layer of clear coat to seal everything in. Now it's time for Foxy's tail. I have a little bit of hair here and I'm going to very, very tightly twist tie it together, snip off the end and use this white Gorilla Glue to insert it inside of the tail hole. And I really suggest using this white Gorilla Glue because as it dries, it expands. So it's really gonna attach and secure itself from the inside. So you're not gonna have any problems with the tail coming loose or getting out. And I'm just using the end of a paintbrush to press that tail in. I'm going to give Foxy a hook arm here at the front using one of these 7 8 of an inch cup hooks. You can find these at the hardware department of Walmart or you can go to a home store like Home Depot or Lowe's and just twist it in the bottom of the leg. Since this particular figurine already had a hole down at the bottom, it's super easy to put that hook in. And that looks so neat, really gives Foxy that pirate vibe. I'm taking a little piece of black Sugru, which is air dry rubber, but you could always use air dry clay if you have that. And I'm just going to wrap it around the hook and the leg to make it look like the little leather piece that covers the hook arm. The last part of Foxy is her eye patch. You can't forget the eye patch. So I'm going to cut one out of a piece of black felt and just tie it onto Foxy's head. I'm going to put everything together and attach the head back to the body using a little bit of Gorilla Glue. And here's the finished custom, Foxy from Five Nights at Freddy's as a pony. I really love the way that Foxy came out. Her hook little arm at the front is just so 
awesome. I do kind of wish I would have used a lighter shade of hair, but it still looks really, really cool with the dark hair and the bangs. I hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial and I hope that your custom comes out super awesome. If you have a suggestion for what custom I should make next, let me know down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching Little Pandas. Until next time, bye. If you've enjoyed this video, please check out my custom Chica Pony tutorial video. I'll link it down below. You can find me online. For the latest news and updates for the channel, you can follow me on Instagram, Manda Panda Toy Collector. Like my Facebook page, facebook.com backslash Manda Panda Toy Collector, or you can add me on Snapchat, 